Hey guys, today, right now, I'm going to explain everything about Red Snow 4.2.1 and what the jailbreaks are because it's, it's really chaotic and it really needs, needs an explanation. So Red Snow is made by the dev team. It's a primary jailbreak program for the um for the iPhone on iPhone iPad all the iDevices and uh basically there's version the current versions I'm talking about are version 0 0.9.6 which jailbreaks all of the older devices not the ones with the A4 chips like the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4 and the iPad and that will clear you. That's untethered. It will also tether. Uh, it also jailbreak the new ones, but it will be tethered. The difference between tethered and untethered is, if your device is tethered, then you have to use a program on your computer to boot it up every time. So if you run out of battery or something like that, you'll have to use your computer, and this is not ideal. So they're working on version uh, 0 0.9.7 which now has four betas, so you can see how chaotic this gets. Um, each beta is basically something to help you untether the newer devices like the iPad, the iPhone 4, and the iPod Touch 4. Eventually they're going to come out with the non-beta version, and when that comes out, it'll be a lot more stable, it'll have a lot less bugs, and it'll be more mainstream and easier to use. So if you have one of the older devices, you can use the Red Snow jailbreak um, 0.9.6 and you'll be set. If you have a newer device you can try using some of the betas. I'll have links in the description. Basically that's what I've been doing a lot of work. I messed up on one of the tutorials. I meant uh, I was supposed to do the jailbreak and then the um, untether at the second uh, red snow thing. Basically there's four betas out now the fifth one is most likely going to have Windows, so currently you can't do it on Windows, and they're working on it. Keep in mind this is a beta, so you're not missing out too much. First off, I'll explain each beta and basically what it had. So we have the first beta, which uh, didn't let you have your music player, and didn't have Bluetooth, and lots of things didn't work well, and it, it all together wasn't very good. There's version 2, which didn't have Bluetooth, but a lot of the other bugs are fixed. There's version 3, which in itself was a little buggy, and other than that, it was uh, not bad. And there's beta 4, which is the current, oh, I forgot to mention beta 2, or all the before betas, you had to use this thing called USB MUX, which is basically open the terminal, running commands to make it work. So uh, beta 4 doesn't have that, which is, um, well, it's been in implemented into the uh, program, which um, makes it easy for you. And Beta 4, um, I believe it has Bluetooth. I'm not quite sure. If you're an avid user, you really need Bluetooth for whether it be like playing games or something. I would stay away from the betas because they tend to not have that. And um, we'll make a video so you can subscribe if you want. And that's pretty much it about Red Snow, so thanks for watching, and please subscribe.